Hey y'all, it's Cinema Darling. So in this video, I was tagged to do the coffee tag. And I was tagged by Ellie Marie Production. And so definitely go check out Ellie's channel. She is so sweet and has like the dopest videos ever. I know Steve from The Lawn Gnome and I had talked about, you know, if I wanted to get tagged to do this. And at first I declined because of a shocking revelation that may have all of my darlings unsubscribed to me. So I'm sorry if it makes you do that, but I'm, I really feel horrible but um, I actually hate coffee. I, I can't stand it. I hate the taste of it. It's so bitter. And no matter how much whipped cream or caramel or chocolate and crap you put in it, honestly, I just still taste that bitterness. And every time I have had a cup of coffee in the past like five years, I get like a freaking migraine. And like my head just feels like it's about to burst. I get horrible headaches from it. So I just stay away from it. But one thing I most certainly do not stay away from is tea. I love tea. And as everyone in these coffee tags is just, you know, showing off their mugs, I have mine with a little bit of tea left in it. Every time I wake up in the morning, I want some hot tea. This just is like, it's like a bright splash of yellow. I'm like, it's going to be a wonderful day. I love tea. I drink it every day. I am just going to be calling this the coffee, in parentheses, tea, film tag. And how this tag works is... I am given 10 different types of coffee and there's descriptions have to relate them to a movie. It seems like a really creative and fun tag so I was like why not do it you know so let's get into it. Coffee number one, Black Coffee. A film hard to get into but has a ton of hardcore fans. This one for me personally is Napoleon Dynamite. I freaking hate Napoleon Dynamite. I think it's one of the worst films ever created. I just could not get into it, but it is such a cult classic. It has all these hardcore fans and I feel like you either love it or hate it. And so like when I told these people, yeah, I don't like Napoleon Dynamite. I just don't. A lot of these hardcore fans are like, oh, but you don't understand film. I'm happy for people who love it. It's just not mine. And it's really hard to get into. Like I was trying to get into that movie. I was trying to like laugh and I just couldn't. Coffee number two, Peppermint Mocha. A film more popular during the holidays. Okay, so I could have gone with a slew of Christmas movies like Elf, Home Alone, Christmas Vacation, but I feel like people already stay away from those movies unless it's around November or December. Like, I know that there are people who watch Elf in July. I was that person when I was younger because Elf was like my favorite film when I was a child. <laughs> but one film that really is not a Christmas film but I feel like everyone just doesn't even dare to touch in their DVD cabinets. Like really just they'll only watch it during the Christmas holidays is It's a Wonderful Life. I love It's a Wonderful Life. It's one of the best films ever made. It's just such a classic. And the thing is with that movie is that it's not really a flat out Christmas film. Like the whole conflict and climax takes place in Christmas. But I wouldn't necessarily say oh that is a full on full Christmas movie. And I feel like no one really watches it year round. Movie number three, Hot Chocolate. I guess that's not coffee. <laughs> Your favorite children's film. Okay, so I was trying not to choose like stereotypical answers for this tag as I always do with my tags, but I have to go stereotypical with this one. How does this not go to Toy Story? This is the best children's film ever created. I don't think anything's gonna be topping it anytime soon. It's just so perfect. I feel like it's just perfect for the family. I just think that the story is just so unique and wonderful. The humor is so clever and just so hilarious and the characters are so memorable and like you know you can watch that movie countless times. Coffee number four, Double Shot of Espresso. A film that kept you on the edge of your seat. So I'm actually going to be going with an indie I saw back in June which is We Need to Talk About Kevin. Oh my goodness, this film, like from start to finish, it I was engaged throughout. It is just like so like gripping and everything. And the thing is you don't expect it really to be like as intense as it is. And the thing is like there are times where you feel like there's going to be a jump scare happening. So like I started to tense up, but it, they never happened. And that's the thing I really respect about this film. It was more so just realistically intense. And the climax is just like so intense. I was watching it at like 1 a.m. And I was just like with my iPad, I was like, <laughs> Coffee number five, Starbucks. A film you see everywhere. Don't like Starbucks. I think it's very... Minions. Oh my goodness. How does this not go to the Minions? I like Despicable Me. I think it's a great family film. I think it's really, really funny. I never saw the sequel. I haven't seen Minions yet. But really? There's been so many Minions being shoved down their throats. 
Like, am I the only one? I see them everywhere, and it's like for things that are not even relevant to the minions. Like on Facebook, if you see, like on your newsfeed, there'll be these people sharing, like, inspirational quotes like, Oh, you have enemies? Good, you stood up for something. That has like a freaking, like, minion in his little overall just like this. I'm like, that has nothing to do with the minions. That and like, they're cute and everything, but it just, they need to go away. But they're everywhere. Like, I feel like I can't walk out of my house without 500 of them, like, going, banana, and just like, freaking, like, pillaging me. Coffee number six, hipster coffee shop. Give an indie film a shout out. I tried not to repeat some answers from previous tags, but I am always and forever going to be shouting out Palo Alto from an indie film. Everyone needs to go see it. Best high school film for this generation. Just fantastic. Gia Coppola just did a great job as her directorial debut. Coffee number seven. Oops. Accidentally got decaf. Film you expected more from. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm gonna get so much hate. I really expected more from Fargo. Not gonna lie. Because everyone overhyped this film to the max. I had everyone telling me, Francesca, this is going to be like the next film in your top 10 of all time. It is just flawless. So I'm watching it and literally, it, it's a good movie. It's solid. It's standard. 8 out of 10. But why on earth do people love this film and think it's like flawless? Because I just didn't see it. Like people say it's like the best mystery of all time. I don't think that. It's not even the best detective film of all time. It's good. I think the cinematography is wonderful. Frances McDormand is the best part about this whole movie. But I just felt like, I don't know, there was just something about it. I was just kind of like, this is overrated. I know that a lot of people love Fargo and if you do, that's a wonderful, wonderful opinion. But this doesn't even like come into my top 100 by far. Coffee number eight, The Perfect Blend. A film that was bitter and sweet but still left you satisfied. So I'm going to be giving this one to Edward Scissorhands because this film is like super, super sweet three-fourths of the way into the film. But at the end, it just, it's so bittersweet, y'all. And it makes me like tear up every time I watch it. The ending makes the movie even better. It's one of those bittersweet endings where you're like, oh, I wish it was just a little happier. But then you re remember, you're like, well, the, it just made the movie all the more better. And so that's why I just came out of the film very satisfied. It's like, coffee number nine. Coffee with my sugar. A film you might love a little too much. This is going to this film right here. Slum Dog Millionaire. I love this film way, 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 way too much. I have talked to people who have watched it and they're like, yeah, it was a great film. Really well done. Really good. But like on me, it's like on a different level. Like I could analyze this film for the rest of my life. I just love it and adore it and I just think everything about it is perfect. I feel like no one really shares the same level of love and care as I do. Like not trying to brag or anything. If you do, please tell me. Coffee number 10 is friends don't let friends drink Starbucks. A film you try and force others to avoid. One film I have had people come up to me and I'm like, no, is God's Not Dead. Uh, that was the worst film for me last year. I'm a Christian and I really just did not like it. It just was really cheesy, really just not well worded, not well acted, not well directed, just not well done anything. I just felt it was a little preachy. So that is the coffee film tag. I hope y'all had fun watching this and as always I tag all of my darlings to do it. Please tell me if you do it just like write in the comments or do something because I definitely want to watch all of these. So yes I hope y'all have a wonderful day and uh you know drink up for sure and stay classy.